Get on out there. First, I'd like to welcome my two new subscribers, one whose name didn't show up, and the Millennial Codger. I uh, welcome and thank you both. Well, today, I'm going to do another pipe shape. I'm going to do the Dublin. Yes, this is my 120 Peterson Aaron. My only Dublin. I like to get another one sometime. Now, uh, as far as the history goes, uh, there's probably, I'd say, more than likely it has Irish origins. It's also among the oldest pipe shapes. Going back to the days of clay pipes. Now, as far as the name goes, uh, there's nothing concrete. It's named after Dub, the city of Dublin. Uh, there's a couple of stories, probably a handful of stories, on why it was named a Dublin. One of them would probably be um, uh, maybe a corruption or whatever of the name. Of the short pipe, the Dudine, and somehow end up with the name Dublin. And another one was a story of a prominent politician in Dublin. This is the shape he smoked a lot. I guess it's when they were start make, making pipes out of briar. It was during the 19th century sometime. So they named the, the shape the Dublin, I guess. Since they associated with this politician from Dublin, I don't know really much of anything about him. I think his name was O'Connell, something like that. Out of that, there's nothing set in stone. <coughs> but even with Peterson, they made a lot of Dublins, but back then they didn't worry too much about the names. Uh, if you look in some of their earlier catalogs, they just have a number to them. So names weren't that important to them like anywhere else. Even though the, the names come back from these times and earlier. They didn't worry about such things. As usual. But nice if it did. Now, with the Dublin, uh, like a, like a Zulu, it's got a little bit of a conical shaped bowl. Yeah, some people say it like a V, yeah. To me, it kind of looks a little bit like a flower pot or a vase. Uh, some say if you turn turn upside down, you have a volcano. Yeah, I could see that. And to the looks of it, this seems to be the kind of the rule with a lot of pipe shapes. The height of the bowl is roughly the shape same the height of the bowl is about the same length the shank is roughly if you lay that bowl down it should come down to meet the uh, end of the the, stem, the shank or pretty close but that's not always the case Oh, and I forgot. 
I'm smoking normal rock wells, breaking leaves out of it. I only smoke aromatics out of this puck, out of this Peterson. Because when I bought it, I bought it as the state pipe. Well, I got it at a flea market, it was a steal. $25. Whoever owned it, the previous owners was, he, he smoked out aromatics out of it. Oh, you talk about the aroma was strong. I mean, it was nice. It smelled like he smoked a wedding cake through it. I think I've said that before with this one. So, I didn't bother with trying to use a t another tobacco to something like Middleton Cherry, where it don't really taste like cherries. It's close to neutral. It's slowly get rid of that aromatic scent out of it so I can smoke just natural tobacco. I do smoke aromatics here and there, so it was a nice pipe. It's a nice pipe for that. Now, now with some pipe makers, artisans, they can, you know, make that bowl just a little bit more narrow and that flare up here even wider so there's no hard set rules like with I guess any pipe shape and that's a nice smoker I like them I like that one It's comfortable in the hand. It's got nice thick walls. Very nice. And it does look good. Bent, it's it's elegant. Slightly bent. Hey, it's hard to tell the difference between a slightly bent Dublin and a Zulu. I guess you'd have to look for the bowl. Where the bowl goes straight up on a Dublin, it's going to lean or have a cant to it with the Zulu. And there's some Dublins out there, they have that cant that little bit of that can't forward. I think um, Peterson had some a long time ago. Before I remember seeing in the book I've got on Peterson. So yeah, I'll probably get me at least one more, one more Dublin. They are nice, and they are comfortable in the hand. And they are some nice clinches. Probably a little bit better than uh, than the billiard. And to me, that's always a plus. All right, that's all I got for now. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video. Thank y'all for dropping in.